Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Singapore is a vibrant and beautiful global city in Southeast Asia and has a very strong economy. It is a very nice place to live in with lots of tourist attractions drawing in millions of tourists for holiday and expatriates to work here every year. It has a very high gross domestic product per capita income of $61,000 and has retained the world's highest percentage of millionaire in the year 2012. Singapore is also one of the world's leading financial centers and has one of the busiest ports. It was also being listed as the second best in quality of living in the world by the Fortune magazine. However, Singapore has one of the highest income inequalities in the world. It has one of the highest Gini coefficients of 0.473, which means that there is a great difference between the income of the poor and the rich. This issue is very controversial as there is no straightforward solution to it and there is no way the solution would result in a win-win situation for both parties. The cause of this problem is due to globalization and technological improvement in the world. The improvement in technology and the substitution of labor by technology has reduced the need of low-skilled workers. This has enabled the skilled workers to be in demand, thus increasing their income. The influx of foreign workers has worsened the issue of income inequality in Singapore as there is a greater competition of jobs thus resulting in lower paid workers. Incomes of the rich have also been increasing very sharply and those who are rich will continue to do very well, while the income of those with a low income will rise very slowly, almost remaining stagnant. Do you think that income inequality is a very uh, serious problem like all over the world? I not, I, I'm not sure actually. You're yeah, not sure about it? No, I am not. Uh, then do you think that anything can be done to improve the situation? No, but, uh, then, then we actually can talk a little bit about Singapore, but the situation in Singapore is quite good, I think, okay. compared to other areas, other countries. Okay. So, so you feel that the situation in Singapore is still counted okay compared to other yeah. countries like USA? Yeah, and if you like see India. other countries, other country, yeah, yeah, definitely. You see other countries in Asia uh, and the region. So do you think that anything can be done to help improve it further? I mean, uh, as long as the situ situation is stable here in Singapore, I think it will continue to be quite okay. Because that means that money is still coming into the country here. Okay. So, but it's, it's difficult questions for me okay. when, uh, when I'm not here. Uh, what's your occupation in Sweden? Uh, I'm a service manager. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you see income inequality in Singapore as a very grave issue? Income equality, yeah, I think I think it is a, a big issue. There's uh, there's the average income. I think what is it, fifteen hundred dollars a month? But there's a lot of people who earn a lot more than that. It's quite expensive to live in Singapore. Uh, do you think that the system of meritocracy in Singapore is fair? Because the intellectual people will get high-paying jobs while the rest will have low pay. That's hard to fix the system because that's how it is globally. But I think what Singapore is trying to do to adjust that is is ensure that everyone has good access to education, and that's the starting point. So if you could educate even the underprivileged, then I think that gives them the chance to get higher paid jobs in the future. What do you think the government can do to improve the situation? Uh, once again, offering a very good education to uh, underprivileged to help them break the cycle. Uh, may I know what's your occupation? I'm uh, in, uh, in finance.